Air quality has become a major concern in recent years. Now a nonprofit is providing a tool that will help paint a clearer picture of the air quality across the Charlotte area. As Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger explains, air monitors will soon be added to underserved neighborhoods in northern Mecklenburg County. You don't know what you don't know. That is what one nonprofit told us about the air quality here in Davidson. Now there's a new project that could give them a sense of how gentrification, traffic and construction has affected everything around here and more specifically across northern Mecklenburg County. It may look rather unassuming and small, but this device could give you or anyone a sense of what's happening in more than just your backyard. And soon, if you live in parts of Huntersville, Cornelius or Davidson, you may see it. We're mm -hmm. going to be able to measure the different air quality and then that will give us a bigger picture on how of all of North Carolina. Kristen Ryan is with Clean Air NC, which recently received a federal grant for these air monitors, which will be in spots that have for decades been places that have had to deal with the brunt of changes in the environment black and brown, low income communities. One example is in the West Davidson neighborhood in Davidson. They are suffering from disproportionate levels of air quality because of a lot of um, either gentrification, traffic, uh, tree removal. The monitors connect to Wi-Fi and they send back the information in real time. And for some, this is the first time this is happening on such an extensive level. So it's information we don't currently have. Yeah. No one in Davidson has one of these air monitors at their home. So we don't know what we don't know. Steve Justice is with the North Mecklenburg Economic Mobility Collaborative, which partnered with Clean Air on getting the monitors. That data is going to present those folks with a compelling reason to make change, which they don't currently have other than their maybe personal displeasure. This is one that's up in Charlotte. As you can see, it's tied with zip ties to a pipe, but the monitors can be screwed in, connected, and continuously sending back information. This is a map of what's currently up, and as you can see on this day, air quality is good, but you do notice the monitors are rather scattered around. Thanks to a grant cleaner got, around 20 more will be going up soon. The federal government only has about 22 federal monitors in North Carolina, mm -hmm. and so that's not enough. We have 100 counties, and so by putting up these um, hyper-localized air monitors, we're better able to collect this information and fight for stronger protections. Organizations are still working out which homes and businesses will be involved in this. Once everything is set up, though, once those air monitors are in place, while not identifying, that information will be available for the public to see. In Davidson, Derek Dumbledore, Queen City News.